am a child of the internet. I love the way that the internet brings people together. Right now, the internet's not particularly safe for a lot of people. And so reclaiming the internet to me means building an internet that prioritizes human and social well-being. Mozilla is honoring 25 people who are shaping the future of the internet. Here are their stories. Does that work? Is that too weird? Yeah, I, can, I don't like sitting normal. My name is Abby Richards. I research how misinformation and extremism spread online. And then I also create educational content that aims to help people understand that. I'm also the co-founder of EcoTalk, which is a collective of environmental influencers. We all want to see the climate crisis addressed and we want to empower people to feel like they have a role in climate solutions. I did my bachelor's in environmental science and my master's in climate studies. In between those two things, I decided to pursue a career in stand-up comedy. I was in Australia and that was going really well. And then COVID happened and I had to go home. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm just doing my daily shot of bleach. During quarantine, I was trapped inside on TikTok with the rest of the world. And I just found myself like increasingly obsessed with social media platforms. The first time I like went viral for saying something was that girl on TikTok who just hates golf. <laughs> and that was like really like combining, you know, my environmental background and my care about like social justice issues with also that like comedic lens. I often hear golfers say that golfing is an opportunity to be out in nature. Let me clear this up right off the bat. Golf courses are not natural. They are nature themed amusement parks. And then from there, I started doing like environmental climate communications content. And one day I had been having a conversation with somebody about conspiracy theories, which ones we believe, if any. And I was like, why is there no categorization? Like, I need a way to make sense of this. So on the back of my chest x-ray results, I sketched out a little like triangle <laughs> and I started my own categorization. And I like put it on TikTok and it just like blew up and like somebody posted it on Twitter. And I think that's when it broke the internet. I felt like elated that I could help people understand something and that like something I made you know, help people to make better sense of the world. And I think that finding emotional ways to connect with people is a crucial component of climate communication and like media literacy and communication in general. I'm really grateful to Mozilla for recognizing this. I mean, I, I started doing this in a dorm room, so this is wild. And I'm very grateful to everybody who's been watching and rooting for me. We don't need a lot of people doom scrolling, reading the news and feeling completely overwhelmed and paralyzed. What we need are people who have like passionate causes that they care about and that they are like dedicating their time to. So it could be something small like picking up trash, right? It could be also like consistently going to your town halls and like pushing for composting. It could be pushing for like plant-based lunches in schools. It could be pushing for climate education in schools. It could be learning about foraging. Like there's a million ways that you can contribute to climate action. And that can be as small or as large as you want, but like just pick a thing that you're passionate about and like fully dive in.